Hello everyone, welcome back to my daily 3D modeling challenge. As always, leave a comment down below if you have another challenge for me. Okay, so this is not going to be the usual video because I'm recording this audio after the fact. I didn't have my mic on during the recording process, so sort of out of luck on that front. But I'm going to break down how I did this render. So I started off by making this sword here. Um, I started off with a sword and I just modeled out a very basic sword shape. And then I went ahead and gave it some very basic materials because that's just sort of like, I didn't want to put effort in the sword because the focus of the project was the effect. Now for the effect, the way I did it was I started off with a curve. I created a curve and created the path that I wanted it to follow on screen. And then now that I had the, the like path of the curve, uh, I added, I started building up the effect in layers. So I started off with the actual body, the effect, which I made with a cube which I used an array modifier and then a curve modifier to make it actually follow along the cube. Um, and in, in theory, this is animatable, but the beginning and the end of the curve are like sort of weird. Um, anyways, that doesn't matter. But after that, I added the materials where the way I did this was I just went into shading. And as always with non-photorealistic textures, the way I just made it work was using a series of mixed color nodes, noise textures, and the main bulk of this in my opinion is the wave texture. So this effect is sort of a bunch of lines that come out of the sword and it gives it this sort of like stripey effect using a wave texture, which I mix between one texture, which I made to give it sort of a starry effect with those white dots, and the other one is blue and purple just to give it some contrast, something really interesting going on. After that, I went ahead and added an object line art using the line art modifier. And then I made the only modifications I made to this line art were uh, just two, really. I added multiple strokes and then using these multiple strokes, I changed the, uh, I changed the type of the line art to just the silhouette of the object. And then because there's some weird geometry going on, I also added a uh, crease line art as well. And then the multiple lines, the multiple strokes rather, I changed the distance a little bit so it looks like it has sort of like some layering shells going on. After that, the next modifier I added was the particles that sort of form around the sword. And then, which I made these using a particle system and then I used the exact same curve that I have the cube with the array modifier to make the bulk of the slash. So I used a force field, which is just the follow curve force field, I believe it's called, a curve guide force field. I changed zero of the settings and I just added a particle system that followed along the curve. I had to move the particle system around a bit to make sure it was in the right spot and that the particles sort of had the right volume, if that makes sense. For the particles themselves, I modeled a very basic star out of a cube where I just extruded the faces, merged the distance, and then scaled them up to make it look like sort of a star effect. After that, I added an emission shader to them, which I did something cool with the emission shader, which I used a color ramp connected to an object info node, which gave, gives you, allows you to have a random color per each of them. If you said, you can set the interpolation to whatever you want, but I used constant interpolation here. But other than that, uh, that's pretty much the entire effect. I just went ahead and played the particle simulation and baked it to a current frame and then called it good. So again, sorry for the weird format of today. This might even be even better in terms of video quality, but that is today's speed modeling challenge. I promise this only took 30 minutes, as you can see with the time lapse. But otherwise, this has been Patrick. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.